probably tell by my hair. It's uh, crazy. So, um, haven't been filming what I've been doing because it's just, I'm all over the place here and uh, it's just ugly job after ugly job. And uh, we are cutting old hydraulic steering lines out right now and these things are petrified and uh, really tough to uh, be in that they're so petrified they're I, I, I gotta cut them out in sections and then I gotta put a, a drip pan in there right right under where I'm cutting and I'm using the hacksaw because I'm trying to avoid using a uh, a uh, some type of pneumatic or electric wheel because once you start getting into the uh, fluid it just flings it everywhere and now my uh, hacksaw blade is shot so I gotta find another one and then you know on the flip of the coin I'm thinking I'm like shit I should just get the freaking tool out and do a Hail Mary because it'll cut cut that thing so much easier because it, it takes about five minutes to cut through the hose with this hacksaw but that's probably also because the blade was pretty uh pretty buggered up so yep i got all the wires hanging hanging and dangling looks like a big old mess looks like it because it is once you once you take all the the looming that holds it up in the air, it just it just looks like spaghetti factory. All right, I'll continue on. So we're on the Nighthawk again today, and uh, I got the helm out right here. The uh, Teleflex Capilano twelve seventy five V. Um, I'm going to be rebuilding that and uh we'll be filming in that one right now i'm going to uh pull this shifter out um i just got the front plate off and then um got to uh figure this thing out i thought i could take the arm off from here but i might have to take the back plate off to take something off to release this so i could take that plate off so i could take the actual box out how's that sound so uh let me uh see what i have to do and um it's kind of tight in here so a little hard to film i will catch right back up with you in a minute all right that stupid ass shifter is still on there i don't know what to do with that thing um i am gonna phone a friend on that one I, I'm, <laughs> I've been monkeying with this thing for about 45 minutes, so um, at my point. So, so we can keep going here because I have, you know, timelines here a little bit to get this thing done because I have other work to do. So when you can take a day off, utilize it, right? So all this wiring here is, I got to go through it. Some of it's going to be to the main harness, to the motor, the eight pin harnesses. Those I'm going to utilize, but all the, um, sorry for my breathing. I'm in a really screwed up spot. No, a big boy. Um, a lot of these wires are going to be gone. I got to uh, just redo them and uh, I'm going to pull these gauges out too. And then, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little stencil of the dash and then I'm going to insert gauges, lay them on top of the stencil and then I'm going to pre-wire this probably at the in the house. Something I could do at night at the uh, table and uh, this way all the wiring is done and all I got to do is lay in here and hook it all up real quick instead of making each wire. So, I'm going to get removing here and uh, moving and grooving. So, back on the Nighthawk. We're going to be using a uh, 
different shifter um, setup than the one that we uh, were fighting with earlier. Um, there was a set screw in the bottom of the handle, which you really had to dig for. I was assured that it was in there, so I went further looking, and sure enough, it was there. So anyway, we're using 33C cables, and um, we're adapting this into here, for which these cables were not meant for here. Now you can see that this needs to, the slot needs to go up into here. Oh, it, okay, it's being a little wise ass. There we go. So, um, usually you use one of these guys or one of these. And you slide the little ring uh, clip in and there you go. Well, not in this case. So um, what I did was I found some steel that is the same width and I made a little guillotine out of it. So it goes in and locks in. I have a little cleanup to do on this, but while I do it, maybe not. It, it works fine. I don't care about the little burr on it. So, um, because I'm holding the camera and I don't really need, you know, hopefully you trust me. I yanked and pulled and banged on this thing. It does not move. Now you can see that this is sticking up. Well, on the second half of this, it will go into the slot here. And this way it will not, uh, travel up on you. So, it will go in here. It will go in here. <laughs> See, now it doesn't move. Totally tight. And it also closes off this uh, little airway. So, <clears throat> this is the clip that I'm modifying that was holding the uh, other throttle. It was actually like this strange cable setup. So it has set screws, lock screws here. And the uh, the cable went through there and it had a uh, this inserted in there. So I pulled that out. I'm gonna drill this out deep as I could go. Then I'm gonna tap it so we could screw the 33C cables on and I will put one of the set screws on just to lock it in place too. So that's basically how we're doing this and I'm going to take some of this steel and make another guillotine plate. I like the word guillotine. That's the new word for today. All right and then this is going to mount right where the old shifter was. The reason I was changing that is because that was a single shifter setup because the uh, starboard motor was the only one that shifted in this boat. So I'm going to go over to this style shifter, which will have individual handles. So I could individually put one in forward and one reverse, and you could 360 pinwheel this boat, you know, docking it. So I'm pretty excited about that. That is something that has been a pain in the ass with this boat since birth, and uh, I am taking care of it. Hopefully pops from above will agree. So I'm going to get this done, and maybe the next time you see it, it will be placed in there or installed and working. Well, we're going to give her her much-deserved cleaning prior to disassembly. It is absolutely dusted out and filthy. Give this dirty, dirty boat a nice cleaning. All right.